Hello and welcome to Time Sticking. Today I'm going to be going over the history of the Bulova Accutron watch. As everyone knows, watches tick, whether court or mechanical, but this changed during the 1960s as people were introduced to something quite different. The Bulova Accutron watch, an electric watch that got rid of the traditional balance wheel and hairspring and replaced it with a well-adjusted tuning fork that hums like a mosquito. Thus the reason why it is known as the watch that hums. Bulova brought its watches to the wrist of millions of people and evened it to space. And I'll tell you more after this intro. The Bulova Accutron was first released in 1960. The inventor Max Hessel was born in Basel, Switzerland in 1921 and graduated in 1946 at the Zurich Federal Polytechnic School as an electric engineer and joined the Bulova Watch Company in 1948. Knowing that the American Army was in need of a better time base for their instruments, he was asked by the Bulova Watch Company of Switzerland to look into the possibility of the application of a higher frequency in a watch. This outstanding engineer was the first one to use an electric device, a transistor, in a wristwatch. The tuning fork was powered by a one transistor electronic oscillator circuit, so the Accutron qualified as the first electronic watch. Instead of the ticking sound made by mechanical watches, the Accutron had a faint high-pitched hum which came from the vibrating tuning fork. A forerunner of modern quartz watches which also kept time with the vibrating resonator ensured an oscillation rate of 360 times per second, nearly 150 times faster than that of a mechanical, balance wheel driven timepiece and was guaranteed to be accurate to one minute per month or two seconds per day, considerably better than mechanical watches of the time. But many still doubted whether the Accutron would become successful. However, the president of the Bulova Watch Company, Arde Bulova, and his engineers were very enthusiastic about the tuning fork system and brought Max Hessel to New York to become the chief physistat at the Jackson Heights headquarters. In 1964, the Bulova Accutron was chosen to be buried for a time period of 5,000 years on the grounds of the New York World Fair in order to save it for future generations as an example of one of the 44 most innovative objects to be invented during the last two and a half decades. The first Accutron model was named the Space View 214 and featured its now famous open dial showing off the high-tech movement and also deviated from the traditional wristwatch design with its lack of setting stem and crown on the side of the watch. These elements were instead placed on the back of the case. The Accutron has been the cornerstone of Bulova's portfolio ever since. In 2010, Bulova released a reissue of the Accutron Space View with the tuning fork movement to commemorate its 50-year anniversary. Bulova also lent its expertise to the U.S. government during the late 1960s space race with the Soviet Union. During its decades-long partnership with NASA, Bulova helped outfit numerous satellite missions with Accutron timekeeping technology, starting with the Vanguard 1 in 1958. All timekeeping instruments, including instrument panel clocks aboard NASA's manned spacecraft missions, leading up to and including the legendary first moonwalk on July 21, 1969, were equipped with Bulova Accutron tuning fork technology. At the time, even NASA scientists could not know how a mechanical timekeeper would function in low gravity conditions. Of course, watch history buffs are well aware that it was the Omega Speedmaster Professional, now appropriately named the Moon Watch. That won the right to be the official NASA watch and hence the first watch worn on the moon during the historic Apollo 11 mission in 1969. Fewer may realize that astronaut Buzz Aldrin also placed a Bulova Accutron timer in the Sea of Tranquility to help transmit critical data transmissions. In commemoration of its role in the space race, Bulova subsequently released a limited edition Accutron astronaut watch with Buzz Aldrin's signature on the case back. A Bulova Accutron chronograph wristwatch finally made it to the lunar surface in 1971 on the wrist of Apollo 15 mission commander David R. Scott. Scott wore the watch which had been specifically engineered to withstand lunar conditions as a backup after the crystal on the NASA issued Omega, according to the records, had popped off. Scott's bull of a watch, the only privately owned watch ever to visit the moon, recently sold at auction for $1.62 million. To commemorate the record-setting sale, Bulova released its special edition moon watch chronograph, aesthetically a very faithful recreation of the original, which was in fact never made available commercially but outfitted with a modern ultra-high frequency quartz movement, which Bulova says gives the watch an extremely high degree of timekeeping accuracy, losing just seconds per year. It also powers a continuous sweep seconds hand for the chronograph function, a feature rare in quartz chronograph watches. The classical tri-compact style features what the brand calls super luminous treatment on the hands and hour markers and is surrounded by a tachymeter scale for calculating speeds. 
One other consolation to modern tastes and convenience is the small date window at 4.30. In 1973, it was recorded that 4 million Bulova Accutron watches had been sold since its production started. Fast forward to 2014, Bulova released the Bulova Accutron 2 Alpha collection of timepieces. The watches use a modern movement and are inspired by the first Alpha series of Accutron Space View watches. Hello and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to give it a like and check out our similar videos right here. If you want to stay up to date with the new and interesting content that we create, you can subscribe to our channel which is linked right here. And lastly, if you need any help with your watch, make sure to go to our Times Ticking website which is linked right here. See you next time!